Well, you know what time it is, folks. It's uh, it's a barbecue review out. Oh, shit. We've, we've had, we're, we're sitting here. We got nine different types of barbecue sauce. Case, we're talking Casey's masterpiece. Man, what happened to Casey masterpiece? We're talking Bubba, the one with the black cow. The black guy, sweet yeah. baby Ray's. Sweet baby Ray's. The it's the, the 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 black guy one is Stubbs. Stubbs. That's right. Stubbs. I've been to the Stubbs. Factory? In Austin. Yeah, in Austin, yeah. There's a. It's named after the actual black. There's like guy a music venue there too. That right? they used to not let in there. <laughs> <laughs> sit out. Sit out front. Damn, dude. Was there was there segregated barbecue? Did black people um, get the best barbecue? No, barbecue. The best barbecue is the black bar. Is like the, right. the best barbecue you, like, you can find is you go to this place and it, it looks like these people recently I found think. out that they're not slaves anymore. I think you sent me there in Austin, right? The Rays used to be my spot. I used to love Rays. I love Danny's too on MLK. That was a good spot. I went to some shack that looked like shit. And it yeah. Was that's good. That's good barbecue, dude. It's a fucked up, you know, Sam's on 12th. That's a good barbecue. How's Texas different than like the Carolinas? Uh, Texas is no. There's no. I mean, there's a so, there's sauce on the side usually. Uh huh. And it's they usually like. The yeah, they just fucking smoke the shit out of it to the. Fat like soaks into the yep. the lean meat. And Carolina's got that vinegary. That's s- yeah. North Carolina, and then South Carolina is like a mustardy shit. I'm probably wrong. I'm so probably why did you wrong. ask if you already knew the difference? And Kansas City's the one that we have. That's like the the barbecue. Sauce. That's the dry rub. Oh no, that's barbecue. Kansas sauce. City barbecue and, and Texas barbecue are more similar than Texas is to Carolina right, barbecue. Right, right. And then Maryland has its own barbecue too, which pit is just beef? pit beef. Yeah. That's not really barbecue, it's really yeah, but that's included. There's uh, in, the, in the four in the hierarchy of barbecue, yeah. American barbecue. Yeah. I don't like that because it's a completely different experience. Yeah. Chats. Shouts out to Chats. We should have gone there. Dude. Uh, shout out rescinded. No, uh, this no. is not. That's not. I'm not approving. I'm not approving this. Shout out. No, absolutely incorrect. Yeah. And they let you bring the work out. You can lift weights and stare at girls. That's the perfect gym. We're taking out all the mirrors and putting in windows where a, a sex traffic woman is forced to undress at gunpoint. You live better with a boner? With her, with her Russian I tears. See, I saw, I saw a video where it's a guy. He takes a Viagra? I mean, not his bare cock. Oh, that's like a type of... No, no, no. It's not. It's just because he's getting stimulated, you know, he's got a woman, a woman's pussy near him. That makes him lift better? It makes him lift better. It, it, like, it, it releases testosterone. Yeah, yeah. So, and that's why I always lift shirtless, doing a bench press, doing a bench press. And that's why I've seen the kind of games that you guys are doing. I downloaded the Gran Turismo demo. The new one. It comes out in a week. Gran Turismo is such a It's not like this dude. Yeah, well, you get that VR helmet. You plug that shit on. Sit out in the living room. You know? You fucking knock all your roommate's shit over. Because you have to punch. It's a punching. I like the... I always wanted those pedals. I always wanted the fucking pedals. From the arcade? Oh, I guess, yeah, you can't even fucking... I don't think you can even play this without the... You know. No, those, those are color settings. Oh, cool. Yeah, I used to like uh, cruising USA. Yeah, that's like cafeteria. Were we talking about CC's pizza earlier? Yeah, you mentioned it. Damn. Skateland? Is it what is that a roller rink? Yes. I, I think my um my stepsister used to I remember my dad picking her up from a but that always seemed gay to me. Roller rink? Yeah, yeah why would you skate, even ask though? me if I had done that? What part what part of me do you think Went to a roller skating rink. You didn't go to birthday parties? 
You got to do whatever you wanted when you were. I was I was never invited to any birthday parties. Okay, I, I didn't that, go to a, yeah, I didn't go to a birthday true. party until I was 27 years old. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> you, you definitely went to some child birthday parties. Come on. Um, what was I, the most memorable party as a child? For like my birthday? Um, I think we already did this. We did this. But yeah, we talked about it. I had a birthday party at a bowling alley, and I ran into a friend of mine that I hadn't seen in like a year and a half, who just happened to be at the bowling alley. From the YMCA day camp. The YMCA uh, classic day camp. My mem my main memory from that is one kid trying to blow up a used condom he found on the ground. Used. As if it were a balloon. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's not, it wasn't like a fresh condom just opened and then discarded. Yeah, and uh, that happens all the time. Perfect size condom. Just said, you know, whatever. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, like one cock measurement, you know, you have like different size condoms. Oh, that's a little I'm comfortable with my double wide, extra long magnums. Just baggy ass magnums. Yes. But, you know, baggy pants, baggy magnums. It's fashion. style. style. <laughs> 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 I saw a pack of No, you yeah. denim condoms? I don't think it was a pack They made it seem like... Maybe it was a pack of You guys ever use those colored pack Yeah, like they give away at school. Yeah, looks like your dick is bloody. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Um. Well, that's the thing. Gran Turismo is more of a photography game. Yeah, it's, it's, all, about, it's all about the DP work. Yeah. Director of photography. Um, anyway, no economies. Where, where were we? I remember in seventh grade, they gave them a word, and I beat off into one, thinking. Well, any moment now, I'll be having a lot of sex. So I better get used to what condoms be like. I remember using a condom one time when I thought it was like, 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 like or something, and I didn't jump. So I just took the condom off and put it in my pocket. And I, I kept it in there. How are you wearing a pocket? What? No. You were fucking. I did later. Oh, later. Later, I mean, I kept, I saved it, because I'm like, where am I going to get another condom? <laughs> <laughs> I just like had a used condom in my pocket. Like fucking immigrants rinsing out glass bags. Yeah. Their right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was, uh, so you fucked her for 10 minutes, didn't come, and you were like, all right, well. Yeah. You went home? No, I mean, I went about my day. I mean, this I had the condom in my pocket for like the next day. Because <laughs> you never know when you're going to fuck. Yeah, and I remember just being at work with that time. I used kiosk. to work with a guy. No, I was just working at a grocery store. I, I, had a, I worked with a guy who had a hole cut in the inside of his pocket so he could jack off his dick Very while nice. women were in line. At the grocery store. Damn. At, at a pizza restaurant. Oh, uh, a pizza restaurant. What the fuck? Well, you got the high counters. You got the high counters. It's a good plan. Like a sex fiend? Kind of. He was, uh, <laughs> yeah, he was just sort of a piece of shit, I guess. So, uh, movies, reviews. Yeah, I know. So that you can't review a movie you haven't seen. Well, we can review what we think it's going to be about. Scoot over. <laughs> Nick was currently was sitting on his kitchen. He was sitting on a hardback chair, and now he's going into lounge mode. Yeah. Uh, my good friend Ansel Elgort's in it. Jamie Fox. Who's the sexy one? Uh, uh, Tony Katane. Uh. Yeah. Nice. That's like you know when Tina used to throw him back the That was cool. Yeah, you gave yourself the assist. I thought you said it was a tam snake. Come on, man, it doesn't work for the joke. Do I gotta fucking put you everything? 
Oh, guys, shout out to everyone that came to the show last night. Oh, yeah, that was a bang. It was a really, really good one. And before I forget, the next show is the 23rd of October. So, so uh, people say I never tell them when the shows are. So. Yeah, well, we did a horrific job. This time. <laughs> yeah, we posted the lineup uh, at 4 p.m. <laughs> yeah, that's our bad. We're going to be better about it Happy moving forward. Day, we probably won't be better about it, but... Please come to the show. The show was still very fun, even though we were crazy. So what do you celebrate on Columbus Day? Italian heritage. A couple, a couple fucking... You know, a couple nosy tribesmen getting this... Right, they didn't... What they deserve. Yeah. But what part of Columbus's life are you celebrating? I don't know. The discovery of America, which he discovered, what, like, Dominican Republic or something like uh, Columbia, dumbass. That's why it's named after. No, he. Well, he discovered. It. Yeah. It was named after. Obviously, someone hasn't seen Narcos. You're not familiar with who Christopher Columbus is. The star I saw Narcos. of Narcos. <laughs> it's, Narcos is a show about Christopher Columbus. Yeah. He was a snitch. He's a, a heavy lidded uh, Brazilian guy. Plays uh, Pablo es oh, Escobar. <laughs> but he played Christopher Columbus plays Pablo Escobar. Yeah, yeah. That's Christopher Columbus was the world's first actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came. Yeah. He came uh, Christopher Columbus he sailed to Italy to Mexico. Landed in, landed in Mexico. He started acting. He invented acting. In Mexico. Yeah. And a lot of people say he stole acting from the natives. That's why they were always nude all the time. Because they were camera. Yeah, the first... <laughs> they were all... Yeah. My, my name is Struggling Actress. I am Chief Struggling Actress. Please, look at my wind pussy. Ten... Ten tokens I, will pull, my ass. I have pulled all the feathers out of my wind pussy. The great spirit of tokens will be bestowed upon me if I do my rain dance by placing the Hitachi directly on my asshole until I squirt. The whole thing. Yeah, there's like whole on reservations. No, that was the sound of tokens being deposited in their account. <laughs> I'm, I'm chief. What the fuck does that have to do with cars? So it's just it's playing all these like you know screensaver images. And it says 2012. CERN discovers the Higgs boson. That made cars faster. Yeah, I got a Higgs boson for you. The smallest particle in the world. That's what it is, right? It's an elementary particle. I think it like splits something and it makes a Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a god. Didn't they say they might have sucked up the alley? From the Higgs. Oh, is that why Donald Trump's president? Yeah. Because of the Higgs boson? Whose tweet was that? Some fucking clown? He warned us that after they did this, it might alter reality, and they were like, wait a second. Wow. Yeah, but if you look at, like... All the stuff that people are upset about are actually good things. Like Donald Trump being president is a good thing. Very good. Yeah. I mean, there's never, there hasn't been a single negative consequence. Business is up. Shootings are down. Considering that there was only one, you know, shooting this year, it was a doozy. It was a doozy, but I mean, Obama was having, Obama was having fucking shootings every two weeks. Well, actually, let's flip that around. We all know every shooting is a false flag. Trump doesn't have a shooting. He's only been able to get Well, he's protecting people. He's not interested in false flagging. He, he loves credit too much to do false flag operations. 
It, that, it would be great if, like, he just fucks up and he's like, you know, people are calling him incompetent. And he's like, oh, yeah, well, I'm not going to say anything, but uh, let's just say Stephen Paddock had a little bit of help. So, <laughs> from me. <laughs> uh, you, think, you know, he couldn't have done it without me. Himself. Right. You think you think that this whole gun control in Las Vegas uh, it was going to happen on its own? No. I had to set things up. <laughs> I called my buddy Steven. I know him from Gamblers Anonymous. I used to bet on Portuguese pussy. You don't even know what that is. I don't even remember. That's how, that's how little I care about walking out that rip. That 38% <laughs> That I'm not a- No, he, he his numbers would go up. <laughs> No, legit. I'm getting a dick sucked by a baby. By a baby is, yeah, a little fun. It's weird to say it that way. Getting your dick sucked by a baby. A baby wouldn't know how to suck dick. Fucking your a baby in the mouth. Fucking your a baby in the mouth. Fucking your 